Richo, there are two loves of my life, teaching nutrition and eating pizza, and today I'm going to combine them together. Oh, wait, and you. Oh, That's three. You. Sorry about that. I always forget that last well, one. Two and a half. <laughs> I can be the half one. <laughs> now, I'm going to make a broccolini pizza today. Now, you would not normally put broccoli and pizza together, but actually, I think you can have pizza as a quite a regular food if you do add nutrition to it. So I'm going to just blanch it. So lid off here. So in we go. Just going to put the whole thing in. Super, super simple. I like that. Another one just there. Now, whilst that one is blanching, just for a few minutes, I'm going to actually get you to just open that because I'm going to make a little pesto sauce. So I've just soaked some walnuts. Now, that is my alternative to pine nuts. Reason for it, there's more omega-3 in there, so great for our brains, but it's cheaper. And I'm just being realistic. I Good mean, idea. we don't all have the money for pine nuts. Like that. So one garlic clove. I wouldn't put any more in there, else you're not going to make too many friends if you're going <laughs> to be eating this around. Right, some of that basil in there. Can you say basil without saying basil? I can't. Basil. <laughs> say, say with basil. a W on it, basil. 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 You're obviously from East London. Um, now, I'm going to put half a lemon in there. Well, I'm going to get you to squeeze, squeeze it. it. We need some flavouring there to up the intensity, so I'm going to put a nice amount of Murray River salt flakes. Do you want all the basil in there? No. I'm going to put some fresh just on the top there. Okay. Thank you for asking. Very good manners. And some cracked black pepper. There's a young lad that lives next door to me. His name is Basil, and I hear his name being yelled out all the time. Basil! You couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't tell a kid off called Basil, I don't reckon. No. Right, so we're just going to put a nice amount. You can be pretty generous with the extra virgin olive oil. Squeeze a lemon in there. Squeeze a lemon, please. I'll squeeze it through my fingers so there's no little seeds get into your uh, pesto. Lovely. I'm going to take this one off the heat. Let's grab that lovely green stuff. Now, if you don't have ice, that's OK. You can just quickly run it under a cold tap. So you want to take the this. heat out of it really quickly. Take the heat out of it. I mean, that's what blanching is. You hit the water and then taking all of that heat out of it there. Pour that in. Yes, pour that in as well, please. Thank you very, very much. You can pretty much use that straight away. This is a wonderful way of keeping quite a bit of the nutrition as well. So here we go. Now, you can pretty much just stuff it in there or cut it in half. I'll cut it into smaller pieces. That's the one. Pop the broccoli in. In we go. And, of course, we need a bit of parmesan. It can't be pesto without that. So not all of it, about a third to half. And a good splash of olive oil. I've already put some in, but you can oh, put really? some more in there. Put some more oh, in goodness. there. That's fine. You did that so fast. You need walnuts because you need to focus a little bit more. That's already been done. So on with the lid, and we'll blitz that one up, and then we've got our base ready to make a pizza. Look at that colour. And the smell. Isn't that fabulous? I mean, you wouldn't paint your wall in it, but that is just phenomenal to look at, isn't it? Get some of that on there. I could imagine this with some pasta. Very versatile, can be used in many, many different ways. So back of the spoon, OK, we want to just go around. Now, you don't want to have a really thick amount. I love how you're using the pita base as a base for pizza. That's you know? it. So we don't always have time to make our own pizza dough. And I do think that the Lebanese bread is so perfect uh, for this sort of thing. The only difference is, is I wouldn't smash it with the heat on the oven. It will go too crisp. So I've got mine on 170 and I just want to almost warm it up else it will become kind of crispy. But I grew up with this bread in the pantry. My grandmother was born in Cairo in Egypt, so we ate that all the time. Did you? Yeah, yeah. It's delicious, isn't it? So lovely little slices of garlic. And I can put the boccaccini on there. Got as well. a little baby boccaccini there. There we go. Now I have got my lovely broccolini, and it's just oh. so gorgeous that I'm just going to layer it on top. Just really more for the eyes, but I mean, you're getting more nutrition in there as well. So some basil leaves too. I've got some parmesan, some black olives. I love yes. olives, so get them on there. They're already sliced for you. I like that. It's you and I. We are the chilli monsters, so on we go with some chilli flakes. Of course, you don't have to have that if you don't want to. Go and put the heap on there. Just get it loaded up. And a bit of parmesan on the top. I don't know about you, but I try to get my parmesan right to the crust here ah. because it is so delicious. And it goes that brown, crusty, crispy... Oh, Love yeah, it. you know it. Now, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just on the top there. And this one really is just about keeping an eye on it. OK, so about 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't need long. We just want it to kind of cook out a little. So in we go with this one. Doesn't that smell 
smell good? The pesto. The parmesan. It's got a really strong smell. Oh, I, I know. love it. There we go. On there. Now, I do think it's all about the little touches. <laughs> this is about making it look beautiful. I'll give you the honour of getting a nice little slice, though. You can go for a big one if you want to. Cut it all the way through. Yeah. I love these little pizza wheels. Well, we've managed to smuggle some goodness in there, and I think it's all about experimenting, and it shows. Most of the time, experimenting does uh, pay off, I think. I think so. A little right, let's slice. Have a go. You're not one of these ones that eats in with the knife and fork, do you? Pizza is meant to be eaten with the fingers. I'm looking at it, it smells fantastic, lots of green stuff there, and a little bit of olive oil dripping off it, which is perfect. And get it in your mouth. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. I mean, that pesto could be used with pasta easily or even as a dip. I love the way you've used it on a pizza. Nice and crisp, it's absolute perfection. You know what, I thought my dish was really good, but I reckon this one is so simple and such a delicious dish. You might have won this one, Rosie. I've done it.